this episode of Emergency Intercom. I'm Drew, and I do have Apple AirPod Maxes, and I'm like, I love them. My name is Enya, and I have them too. And yes, if you are wondering, both of the the pairs are very dirty. Mm-hmm. The dirtiest thing on the planet. Wait, are we going to talk to the camera or to each other? I don't know why I'm talking to the camera. Because I, I was really talking odd. to the camera too. Yeah. Well, maybe sometimes it's good to speak to them. Let them know. Let them know that we. I see you. I'm watching you. I'm in your walls. I'm in your room. I was just like chewing gum the whole time. Let me swallow it real quick. You swallow gum? Yeah. I do not swallow gum anymore. Really? No. I Literally every piece of gum I've ever eaten, I have swallowed. Drew, you know the little like black dots on the concrete are gum, right? Yeah, I know. And that's like why I don't spit it out because I don't want to add to that pile. So you'd rather just let it sit in your stomach? Well, it doesn't actually. Like the stomach acid in your stomach is like super fucking powerful. It would melt your finger if you ate it. So if I really was upset with you, I should throw up stomach bile and throw it in your face? Actually... That's a good idea. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Well, should I talk about... Oh, I I have something very, very, very important. Oh, but I have something very important to say, too. Like, so shut the hell up. Um, (laughs) No, I have something very important to address about the last episode. Oh. Um, I just want to... It's, like, hard for me to talk about, but I want to, like... I'm here for you. Here, give me your hand. I want to just kind of clear the air. Yeah. Um, yes, I have a ginormous fucking schlong, like and, a big fucking yeah. meaty, girthy cock. And the thing is, you've warned everyone. Mm-hmm. You gave multiple warnings. Like mm-hmm. my wiener is huge. Everybody always talks about it. It's a big problem in my love life. Yep. Yeah. And that's why you don't have romantic situations unfolding also, because everybody just, wants to use you for that. And it's also just extremely fucking difficult because when I get an erection all the blood from my brain you goes to my wiener and i pass faint. out yeah. yeah every time i stand up it's because my penis gets blood in it and that's why i'm like lightheaded they people want to blame it on oh like oh you, iron deficiency red like, 40 whatever. overdose yeah no it's you're gonna be the most first of the human problem, to od on red 40. <laughs> yeah, like literally but most of my problems in my life are because of my big ginormous schlong yeah, wow. um i didn't even think about that but there are are a lot of problems in your life that you could like trace back. Yeah, no, it was funny that I like, <laughs> I, when I was watching the episode back, I was like, blur this, blur this, and like, make sure you can't see this. And then like, within the first five seconds of the episode, I'm like picking at it. Like, and it's yeah, just Yeah, you were nasty. like grabbing it and yeah. moving it around. Yeah. Well, it's okay because like, women's boobs should be sexualized that i understand but we shouldn't sexualize the wieners of men yeah i actually also have a question for you about boobs um (laughs) when you and like orion or you and any of your girlfriends are watching a movie how quickly into the movie does it take before you start playing with each other's boobs (laughs) um wow uh we usually don't because uh i don't like what i don't like have sex with my friends fucking weirdo prude loser how does that make me a prude that's just like it's not something i do um well should i talk about okay let me preface so last time i saw drew was we did our berkeley show hey berkeley, berkeley puss hey um and it was amazing and awesome but i had to rush out of there because i have i had work in new york and drew was gonna meet me in new york first of all so we dramatic have work in new york. yeah because we're just like working girls we're working our life is movie um, hence why we're here oh also if shout you're wondering, out oh you're gonna speak over me yeah well <laughs> as a man should um <laughs> shout out stray rats uh, Three for letting rats. me use the uh, letting us use the office because it's so fucking cool. Yeah, and if you're wondering where we're at, yeah. um, we're at the Stray Rat, the Stray Rats headquarters. Julian is goaded with the sauce. Let's just say that extra goat. Uh, can I have a side of goat with my sauce? No, can I have a side of sauce with my goat? No, <laughs> no. It's too much Anyways, fucking ass. When we were leaving Berkeley, I had to like rush out of there. I did not tell you this, but do you remember what I texted you before I took off? That uh you were convinced you were going to die or you something like that? Oh, did I tell you that? Yeah. Oh wait, but do you remember along those lines what else I said? Not off the top, no, but I'll remember once you tell me. Okay. So I'm going to say the story and then say why I texted you when I texted you because it's you're going to have funny. to go look. Um, I feel like I could find it. <gasps> what was that? Oh, my God. All of my notes just deleted. I'm not even fucking kidding. 
I had like a hundred notes. <gasps> Recently deleted. Oh no no oh, no! Oh, oh my, my god, that's fucking scary, god! I literally almost had like I wasn't even have a conniption fit. I was just gonna cry. <laughs> um, but okay, keep going while I look for here. This. I know how to find it. Okay, we didn't talk so, too much. Um, we're I'm like leaving on a late flight out, and I it's a red eye. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, I need to sleep because the next day I had to show up to twerk uh the, the twerk competition yeah i had to show up bright and early to get my booty all oiled up so i could start twerking for Juro. Mm. um but i had work the next day like i had to be at set early in the morning the next day so i was like okay i need to make sure i sleep on this flight so so before i got on the flight um i did what anybody would do in my situation which is instead of taking melatonin because i don't believe in melatonin anymore i took an edible and had like two drinks which is like thought. i'm not saying to do Okay. Is it the morbid thought? Okay, yeah. Wait, oh, yeah. so I didn't... In my text, I didn't say that I thought I was going to die. I just, like, I had a morbid thought. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, whatever. I'm just, like, a little crossed getting on my flight. This company that I'm working with got me, like, a nice flight. So, I was, like, the first person on the plane. Like, I could see right into the cockpit. Um, Bragging much? I'm just saying, like, the, it has to do with the story. But, like, my life is a movie and I am working with a company that treated me like an absolute princess. And I, like, mm. flew business class. Like, mm. it's, like, really fucking easy. Like, Beautiful. honestly. Oh, wow. Uh, so, whatever. I'm, like, a little crossed getting onto the flight. I had taken an edible right before I boarded because I was, like, by the time I sit down, I want to be high and knock out. Yeah. So, I'm sitting on the flight. I'm, like, on the phone. And then I go to get off the phone and I'm like, like I get off the phone and I'm sitting there and I had been on the phone the whole time until they said this. This is what made me hang up the phone was we were getting a little delayed. And then the pilot got on and was like, OK, there's like a maintenance issue. We're going to have some people come on. Uh, there's a switch for the navigation system that isn't working and we're going to have someone come on. <sighs> that for me. MH that's literally what happened on the image 240 in Malaysia flight that like fucking disappeared. Yeah, bitch. That for me mm -mm. was not okay. Like I literally immediately started freaking the fuck out. And like mm -mm. in that moment, him saying that ignited my edible in my brain. <laughs> so I was so convinced that it was done for me. Like I kept making comments like I like to myself just kind of laughing me like, oh my God, what if we like got off the plane? Like, what if we just got <laughs> we off should get off plane? like right now final we destination the like, yeah. let me out of here let me out of here no. let me in and then please the maintenance guy rushed past me into the cockpit and they had pliers and they were tugging at the the switch with pliers like trying to fix it and he was like oh we're just gonna turn the plane on and off again and see if it works and they kept what? turning on and off the plane they were literally just resetting it like it's to a see fucking it iphone just, yeah like bitch this is not an iphone this is like me and the lives of a bunch of people like get me off so they do that for like 20 minutes. We get delayed. And then the maintenance guys run out. And they're like, all right, I think everything should be good by now. We're just going to take off and it should be fine. It should be fine. Bitch, that's why. Should be. <laughs> Read our text. Inya said, I just had the high. Oh, I just had the high thought that's so morbid. And I said, what? She said, like, if I ever died, how would y'all get into my laptop? Which that being like... <laughs> <laughs> that's your that's your thought. That's what you're thinking okay, about. Okay, then I'll explain this. We keep going. Like, to see my texts and shit. What the fuck? Because I'd want yours. I was like, haha, OMG, you know mine. Um, and then she gave me the password to the laptop. Because, like, my notes... Um, Okay, and then, like, that was kind of the end of it. But I didn't want to tell you what was happening because I didn't want you to get anxious and then take off yeah. and then hear nothing from me. So I tried to play it cool, but what was actually happening is I was sitting in the front of the plane crying. <laughs> like, I literally started crying. Well, that's where most wrote, people die like, in plane crashes. The front of the plane breaks off. Dude, First oh, class trust dies. and believe. I was like, I'm done. I'm like, th mm -hmm. this is why I don't do this shit. This is why I, I need to be in an exit row in the back so I can fucking jump out before the plane, like, crashes. Like... This is it. This is my fucking end be all. Wow. Like, I can't like I can't believe this. But I had a moment where I was just thinking I didn't have morbid thoughts of this is so stupid because obviously I was not near death, bitch. I, I like <laughs> you were so fine. You were just I was high. Convinced I was near death. A little but I high. I didn't have any like sad thoughts. I genuinely was so satisfied and happy with my life. Aww. And the reason I gave you the password to my notes app is because I wrote this, which I'm not going to read out loud. Um, but I wrote this like 3.07 a.m. October 25th. 
Am I allowed to read this? Or yeah, but I you just... can read it, but like, don't read it out loud. We'll we'll skip ahead because it's gonna take you eight years to read that. <gasps> That's so. And I literally cute. was crying writing this, and I was just like, I need Drew to find this and share it to anybody who like. Why knows do I me. have like thirteen notes just like Dude, that? Yeah, it's like, like bad. Like if y'all go through, it'll be like my life was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love my friends, family, and I'm acquaintances. I'm so grateful for everything I've experienced. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that, I just thought you thought. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Like I literally. You were I tweaking. Was so convinced you were literally tweaking off a fucking bean. The second that plane started moving, I fucking knocked out. And I literally. <laughs> <laughs> all that flight. for nothing all that. but um, that's literally me every single flight i am sitting in my seat like literally convinced i'm gonna die so i text everyone i know that i love them i'm like i'm taking off i love you like that's my vibe every Dude, time. i've gone so far that, down that path that i don't do it anymore because now i'm convinced doing that will solidify mm. my death even though like either way like you Planes are like really safe. They're so scary. So, They're literally so ooky. Yeah, I just thought you would think that's funny um, because well, that's my life. While you were going through that, um, I literally almost fucking died. And I know I say that like <laughs> every uh, episode. Every okay, episode. so I almost died. No, no, no. But this was very, very real. Like it was not okay. But so on my flight, like I must have gotten bit by like a spider oh. or a mosquito. Or something. I don't know what the fuck the bite was. But like it was like really itchy. And then it kind of got really hot. And then it got like warm. And then I just didn't look at it for like four hours. And then like I got to the hotel that I'm staying in with my parents. Oh my gosh, I'm in New York City with my parents. It's so cute. Super cute. Um, but I've done that before. So it's like, like what is okay. you know, special about it? Okay. <laughs> um, but I... Um, wait, let me make sure you can hear my voice. Okay. Um... But I get to the hotel and I'm like, damn, this shit like itches really bad. And I look down on it or look down at it. And like, it's like bulbous, like it's super swollen. The bite, it's like literally like a quarter of an inch off of my skin and like uh, the size of a quarter. And I'm like, wait, this was not like that. Like, what the hell is going on? And so I show my mom and dad and they just like fucking laugh at me. They're like, that's a spider bite. And I'm like, yeah, it literally is a spider bite. And I'm like, cool, I've never been bitten by a spider. End of that. Well, like a few hours later, we're eating like lunch or something. And I look down and like, I just have this like giant red patch on my skin. And I'm like, pictures of it? yeah, I like yeah. I heavily documented it. Like, but like I have like this giant red patch on my skin and I'm like, what the fuck is that? Um, and I show my parents and at the diner and they're like, bro, you're tweaking. You just scratched it. Like that's a scratch area. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. And then like a couple hours later, I look back down and it's starting to literally travel <laughs> up my vein. Like it literally went to my vein and started traveling up my vein. And I was like, wait, what the fuck? Like, is that like an infection? Like, am I like actually like about to like have sepsis? Like, is my blood infected with fucking poison? Like, what the hell is going on? And so I showed them again. Everyone is just like, bro, you scratched it. Like, it's not that deep. Yeah, I literally was like, girl, you keep scratching it. So you're going to like, that's what's happening. Yeah. And so I just ignore it. And then the line keeps crawling higher and higher. And then I'm like, okay, like this is not good. And then I'm just like, whatever, like if it's, that bad i'll be alive tomorrow and i can figure it out tomorrow <laughs> like whatever if it's that bad i'll be alive yeah so then i'm like it's like 4 a.m. and i text josh and i'm like yo like i need to talk to your dad like i think something is very wrong with my arm and um i send the picture to josh and josh's dad is like okay like tell him not to panic he's going to be fine but he needs to go to the hospital like right now <laughs> like he should have gone yesterday to the hospital he needs to go right now or in urgent care but like go and get antibiotics i didn't do that like i <laughs> went the next day i went to sleep and then i woke up yeah, where in the did you line go? the just to an urgent care it's called like me doctor like it was fucking weird as hell um but there the line went all the way up into my shoulder and what freaked me out is i was laying there and i could feel like my arm like i've never Ew. i've had like a sensation i've never felt where like my fingers were like my fingers my fingers <laughs> were like um like tingling and like numb and then there were like certain spots that were like a deep <laughs> throbbing like almost bruise like um sorry there's pain. ghosts here we're really I know, there's scared there's ooky spooky ghosts and skeletons all around um but yeah i'm like 
feeling this throbbing pain, so I ended up calling Josh's. Um, <laughs> I ended up calling Josh and. Yeah, I went to the you doctor the next out. day and they told me I was like, I had like cellulitis, which I was like, isn't that like what people get on their thighs? But, or like cellulite? Cellulite. But they were like, no, it's like cellulitis. Like you have an infection under your skin and it's traveling up your vein right now. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. So I'm popping pills. I got to take. I know he's got some perks to yeah, go home with. I'm he's taking super excited. Two perks a day for the pain. Um, because my arm almost <laughs> fell off. But like, tell it's me why. It's so funny. Like, we literally, you can't tell me something. It, but we've talked about this on the podcast before. D- Drew is so difficult because everything is a dying matter. Yeah. So it's extremely difficult to navigate any situation with him or tell the severity of it because he kind of just likes talking about I was gonna things, say like, I was gonna say like tell me why I was like what if I don't take these antibiotics and like I have to like my arm falls off like and I like get to, not taking it <laughs> yeah and I get to get like a cool chrome hearts like arm <laughs> like custom chrome hearts arm oh like, you can't afford that though so oh they do it for free <laughs> they do it for free um but yeah I'm gonna insert all the photos of it because of your scary arm yeah this is like the last one where i was like okay i need to go but like you can see it like traveling up um but yeah i survived i'm surviving another day every day is a okay every fucking day is a blessing and you should treat it as such and you should love the people around you oh my god wow when did you find that out yesterday when i almost died (laughs) you're 25 though you're 17 Bitch. you're 17 but by 17 i knew why the fuck does everyone keep saying that shit to me like, like everyone keeps saying you're, you're 25, 25 you're 25 that's such a weird fucking age to lie about <laughs> to land on hold on let me look at my notes we should talk about hold on let me get on my phone about the berkeley show no oh wow oh my god okay actually we should because it is so insane people saw videos of us at the berkeley show and were genuinely so confused about berkeley it Puss. i'm an ivy league that's not an ivy league but like iconic ass school the unabomber went there killed a bunch of people oppenheimer went there okay something's wrong with Jerome. you said that on stage yeah i was like y'all are Just some evil it bitches for what it is, yeah honestly. i was like there's some evil fucking creep in this room that's gonna kill people wow even though I kind of agree with Ted Kaczynski, not the killing people part okay. or the bomb part. <laughs> well, we went to Berkeley <laughs> and every time this is the second college show we've done. And every time we do it, there are like three moments on stage where we're like, oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Why did I like, say why that? Why are we saying this to yeah, college students right that? now? But your schools keep asking us to come. So. Oh, I was going to make a really gross joke, actually. <laughs> Me in the same sense as being like, why do we say that? Yeah, no. I just can't I stop talk myself. about drinking Adderall water at a college campus. <laughs> and lean. And lean. But the, my lean story was lit because it was like, the culmination was like, I'm fucking stupid. But I'm not giving that away. Like, <laughs> okay, wait. that's the group. I looked at my notes and the other last thing other than my, uh, my uterus. eulogy. Can we talk about your uterus? My uterus is not doing well, but we shouldn't talk about that because I'll get it fixed. I'll get it tightened up. Um, but yeah, please, other Jesus. than my eulogy that I wrote for myself, I wrote this. Like this was one of the this. So this gets, uh, puts into frame where my mind was at while I was thinking I was dying. I said where the fact that I have headphones mind? that can literally turn off the world. <laughs> uh, <laughs> music in, world out. Literally Dude, music in, we world out. We have fully out. gotten there because it is so crazy. Noise canceling headphones. Canceling. One make- <laughs> noise canceling headphones when I use my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> noise canceling headphones when I use my fingers to click the button (laughs) but i'm not kidding it actually freaks me out like i don't understand how noise canceling headphones work and i can't believe that they just do like i just turn them on and i hit a button and i can't hear you bitches like that is really crazy also very dangerous the clairvoyance mode is like literally the craziest thing i've ever experienced in my life clairvoyance mode no like it's crazy that I can hear the world that there's still music playing in my ears but i think that like in my head i'm like that's just like regular headphones Oh, no, no, it's different. <laughs> There's like microphones. It's like pumping a- um, audio in. Yeah, I just don't like clairvoyance because why would I want to hear outside louder? I'm putting on my headphones to turn off the world. So like when I was talking and walking with you, I had my headphones on, music playing, but I could hear every single word you were saying. Okay, when I was walking with you and I had my headphones on and you were talking to me, I was ignoring you because I, I had just my have a dopamine on. addiction is really what it is. Like I need to have two things going into my ear at the same time. Three. 
conversation, world, and music. I will say I sat in the car on the way to set the other day and they just had the like radio playing and I didn't put headphones on and I just sat there listening to the radio and I couldn't believe it. I was like, this What's is the first time in so song? long I've done this. Sat in the radio and it's okay. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know. Oh, the songs on the radio are okay. No, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> the songs on the radio are okay. Dun, 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 okay, dun, dun, dun. big statement there. Yeah. Like, they're okay. No, they ate. No, they did not, though. Also, okay, we need to talk about this past Halloween. What happened? Last year, our our takeaway from Halloween was it was some of the worst IG posts and some of the weirdest One things thing we've ever Inya, seen. One thing about she's going to have that damn jewel on her hand. One thing. <laughs> That's what your Halloween costume should be. <gasps> I should be a big jewel. Never mind. I'll get into that later. I'll let you finish. But oh, my God. I was going to say, never mind. Never mind. Say There's it. a thing called old people like claws that I noticed that old people have claws. <laughs> There's where, no way it's like called that. No, I call it that. But like their <laughs> thumb, like the, I guess the muscle in their hand just kind of deteriorates. So their th- thumb rests here instead of here. And How many just, old people hands have you looked at? All of them. <laughs> but like they'll rest their hand like this. And it's just like, it's so cute to That's me. That's how you rest your hand. <laughs> Um, but Sneak everybody's this. Halloween costume this year was so good, and I don't really understand. Like, was that like a like a collective decision for everybody Wait, to you go said in? So good? Yeah, everybody's costume. Like, my whole timeline on TikTok was like well, costume I after a costume. Trend. I said a trend. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, people are just following in the footsteps. Well, wait, of what the did leader. you? How did you start that? Um, just by th- throwing good costumes. People With grandpa saw eating paints. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> people <laughs> just saw me and wanted to be me. Period. Yeah. No, but I agree. Everyone's costumes were so good. Like, I'm literally, like, jaw-dropped at Quinn's, like... Um, Grace Jones. Yeah, Grace Jones costume. Like, I know, and it's fuck? not even Halloween yet, but what are the bitches going to post on Halloween? Y'all already posted everything. I'm going to go on people's IGs and, and go back to their posts that they posted on Halloween weekend and be like, hello, where's the next one? <laughs> where's the real costume? Waiting. Waiting. Winning. Winning. No. That was crazy. That era was fucking crazy. He was so real. Yeah, no, he ate. Look back at all the shit he was saying. Actually, I'm not going to co-sign that because yeah, I don't like, know what he was no saying. Yeah, I have no idea what he was up to. Like, we were like seven. <laughs> some things he was eating, I, I just feel. like his the the one that's like popular on TikTok where it's like, any drugs, any drugs in the house? Yeah, there's drugs in the house. No, there's not. Go find them. I did them. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, well... I'm going to tell the taxi driver story. The oh. evil, 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 wicked taxi driver. So. Why are you calling it a taxi driver? Because I an got Uber? a taxi. That's In San Fran, you got no, a taxi? No, 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 no. In LA. So In LA, you got a taxi? I know. Listen. So I land in LA and my bag is the first one. No, no, I didn't. I don't know. My bag was the first one off here. Um, but I land in LA. I'm like not in a rush. I'm kind of just vibing. I just want to get home. Did you land late? Uh, no. no, I landed like in the middle of the day. Um, but I like, if you know anything about LA, like going there, flying to LAX is legitimately the worst place ever if you don't have a ride to pick you up. Because you have yeah. to ride a fucking shuttle and then you have to ride that fucking shuttle to your Uber. And it's like just hell because they pack like take, you in. Yeah. Like it's just, it's not chill. Such an elongated um, process after like what is usually already such a long flight. Yeah. And it's just like so, 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 so annoying. Um, but so, but you have the option if you want to call like an Uber select or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, and they'll come pick you up just right there. But it's typically so $60 more. And like, I almost every time I travel, I work that into my budget is like, okay, when I get home, I'm going to have to pay fucking 60 more extra dollars to get an Uber black because I refuse to go there. But this time I was like, okay, that is just like genuinely the biggest waste of money ever. And I refuse to do it because, yeah, it's just so fucking annoying. So I'm like, I'm just going to do the Uber X set thing. And I get there. And when I get there, there's legitimately 2,000 people. Like, <laughs> I, it was a safety fucking hazard. Like, it was like mosh pit, like mobbing, like not fucking legitimately chill. Legitimately 2,000 people. Like, it was crazy. It was fucking crazy. Like, we've gone so far with vocabulary. <laughs> no, like, whenever when I learned the word literally, it has become the most used word in my vocabulary. Like, whoever your taught vocabulary. me that word is like... Like, I fucking hate you. I fucking hate you. Um, but 
I get to the LAX that there's a thousand people. Like it was kind of actually dangerous. Like I felt like there was going to be like a crowd crush event or something. Like it was not chill. And like I call my Uber and wait like 10 minutes. He never fucking comes. And so I call another one and then it cancels on me. And then the fee goes up $20 and I'm like, oh, fucking cool. I should have just got an Uber select up there. And then I'm just like, fuck Uber. Like I'm taking a stance against Uber. I hope Uber fails as a company. So I'm like, I'm going to support the taxis. So, cause there's a taxi line and I get in the taxi line. And the only person in LA who's ever been like, hmm, a taxi. Yeah. Literally. I didn't even know they had taxis in LA. That's why I'm so confused. Like, yeah. They're, they're there. And I get into my, I'm in the line. It goes by very quickly. I'm like, Oh, per, I should have just did this from the fucking beginning. Cool. Um, I get in the car. Um, and last time I took a taxi from LAX, it, the guy randomly halfway through my ride just like added $30 to my <laughs> ride. And I just didn't get out of the car until he took it off. Cause I was like, I watched you add that fucking money there, bitch. Like new. Um, so I was like very vigilant. Anytime I have to <laughs> imagine you interacting with a stranger in that <laughs> way, like I can't imagine it. No, it's crazy. So I get to the car and an older gentleman, I'm like, oh, he's like cute. Like, this is a sweet vibe. Like, cute. Immediately the meanest person <laughs> I've ever interacted with in my entire fucking life. Like, immediately aggro. Like, he like, I get my bags and like, he opens, swings the gate thing open and he's like rolling his eyes and I pick up my bags and he's like, oh, you don't think I couldn't do it? And I was like, oh my God. No, I just was being nice. And he was like, and I put it down and he's like, no, do it. And I'm like, oh my fucking God, like this is so crazy already. But I was laughing. I was like having you were, fun. You were in a toxic relationship. No, it was with crazy. Him. I was like, he was like gaslighting you. He's like, oh wow, you think I'm weak? No, do it, do it. Yeah, no, I don't want to do it. No. Exactly. I was like being attacked. And so I get in the car and I get in the seat behind him because I'm like, oh, that's where the payment station is, like whatever. And like he opens my door really, like, like really hard. And he's like, what are you doing? And I was like, nothing. And he's like, scoot over. And I'm like, oh my I'm like God. okay, damn, like what? And so as I'm scooting no, over. That they, okay, if I was there, I wouldn't have let him talk to me I, like No, that. I didn't. Like, that's the thing. I took up for myself. I took up I for myself it. finally. Oh, but I didn't. And so I'm like, I'm like, he's already been so mean to me. So I'm just like under my breath, like at him. I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ. So I like rip, rip my like duffel bag out of the back. And he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? What are you doing? And I'm like. I'm grabbing my bag and like I guess he thought I was gonna fucking like grab a gun out of my bag and kill him or something <laughs> and then I was like he was like go sit in the passenger seat and I was like Jesus. what he made I, you sit next to him no no he meant in the back like oh, the passenger okay. seat in the back was he was like, like he's like what are you doing get to the front no, he wants he, to put his hand on your thigh while y'all like, while he drives you home actually and so I um. Uh, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Oh, he's like, that's what that's there for. You don't sit behind me. You sit there. And I was like, oh, this is crazy. So I'm just like already in a bad mood. And I have my headphones on. So like, this is a long fucking story, but I'm going to like no, end it going. after this. But I have my headphones on and I have clairvoyance mode on. And he's like talking to me and I'm talking to him. And then he looks in the rear view mir uh, mirror and I just like see him look up at it. And like, I see a scowl on his face. Like he's angry. And he's like, what the fuck are those on your head? Says the F word. And I'm like, I'm like, excuse me? And he's like, what are those things on your head? What even is that? And I was like, they're headphones. I'm listening to music. And he's like, well, it makes it really, really difficult for me to talk to you. And I was like, <gasps> I was like, we're not talking. I don't want to talk to you. Why are you yelling at me right now? And then he rolls down all of the fucking windows. Oh. Yes, he like came back at oh, me. Oh, he was like, oh, I know how to turn this he bitch up right now. He rolled down all of the windows in the car on the fucking freeway. And it was <laughs> the loudest environment I've ever been in. in my, like, it was awful. It was such a bad fucking vibe. And I was just like, you know what? I'm not the even going to say a word. The all the empty seats. Like, <laughs> like literally in like semi trucks blasting by and just like he would slow down so the engines were like going through my window and like deafening me. Oh my god, you might have gotten a ride from the most evil man on the planet. I know, it was crazy. Um, a lot more shit happened in the ride and then I started recording because I was like, oh, if I'm telling the story, like I'm gonna have to have evidence because this is fucking crazy. Every time I recorded, nothing bad happened. It was just like, vroom, 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 like the <laughs> engines of cars and it was just loud wind. It was like the worst sound ever. Um, but we get close to the house and like when I got in the car, he was like, where are you going? And I was like, I said the address to our house. And he was like, no, what area are you going to? And I was like, and I said, where, what area we live in? And he was like, what are the cross streets? And I was like, I don't know, just go towards 
two streets by our house. And also, I can't stand taxi drivers and Ubers who don't use the fucking Google Maps. Literally, like, literally use your it iPhone is not the challenge. 1920s. You are not pushing this car with your fucking feet like the Flintstones. Like, I if know. you don't use your goddamn CarPlay, because you, I know you got CarPlay. It like, was it was so fucking absurd. And so we get close by the house, and I'm like, oh, like I. I'll tell you like where to go from here, and like I thought things were cool, no, and he bitch, took offense. He took. I he was knew that pissed him so off. So offended by it, and he was like, "Why don't you just tell me the streets? Do you you don't think I know where I am?" This is literally my dad. Yeah. Without fail, anytime I've driven my dad, I can have the directions on my phone on CarPlay, and I will know exactly where we're going, and he will give me step by step directions the whole way. It's a man. He thing. also gives me wrong directions <laughs> all the time. It's my a dad man gives me thing. wrong directions all the time, and then he's like, "Oh, they must." have changed the street and i'm like no you just don't know it's literally it is fully a man thing because like whenever like anybody tells me how to drive like boils my blood but i'll be in the fucking backseat backseat driving like oh like watch out for that no car. you won't because you'll just be on tiktok <laughs> and scrolling just, tiktok i'd be on iphone in car yeah. like i treat it you like my fucking car bed and it's like getting into new iphone yeah like it's it's a problem but anyways we go close by the house it goes the um, and i tell him I was like, I don't know the streets that I live on. Like, because I don't. I just know the area I live in. Although this is the same person Listen. who from JFK <laughs> called me. He's at, He lands at JFK. I'm in Chinatown. Drew calls me and asks me how to call an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> and I literally was so shocked. I was like, well, they fucked it up. They put like, you have to take, okay, listen to this. At JFK, <laughs> you have to get on a fucking shuttle to get on a train to get in a car. So we in need the span to get you on the public of, transportation committee now. No, literally, on a, in a span of 15 minutes, you're on an airplane, a car, a bus, and a fucking train. Like, it no, be your technological like, that's ins dream. insane. That's insane. Just let me call the fucking car to the gate. <laughs> but yeah, that was like, um, <laughs> but yeah, that makes sense that this person doesn't know the cross streets we live on because he <laughs> called me to call an Uber. <laughs> yeah. Like, I I was like, how am I even supposed to help this motherfucker right now? Like, no terminal, no nothing. I was like, what terminal are you at? And you're like, I just, I, I just got off the plane. I was like so asleep on that flight. I was still asleep when I called y'all. <laughs> okay, um, so you say you don't know the cross streets. Yeah, and I'm expecting he, the story listen, to end with him hitting you or something. Basically, he looks at me. He this this is like the climax of the story. He looks at me in the rear view mirror and he's like, "What are you stupid or something? You don't know what streets you live on." And I was like gagged. I was like. Okay, honestly, like, respect. Because, like, I should know the streets I live on, but, like, don't call me stupid. Like, this is crazy. So I, like, get behind him, and I grab the seatbelt, and I choke him out, and I kill him. <laughs> like, I kill him right there. Like, when you started that, I was like... <laughs> No, 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 no. So um, I just like, I'm like, no, I don't know the streets I live you on. You should have fucking but, farted in his car. No, I was like. You should have pissed in his car. When I, I sound like I'm being innocent, but I was like beefing right back to him to the <laughs> point where I think he like respected it a little bit. Cause like, he was like, oh, we're like, we're beefing. Like, I think it was like a fun <laughs> thing for him to like yell at me. And I was kind of getting off on it too. Like we were kind of like, we were kind of like perving on each other in a weird way. But anyways. <laughs> We like we like get to the um, house and he's like, where do you want to where do you want to be parked? And like I have video of this, but like I'm being aggro in it too. At back to him and I don't want to put that into <laughs> the you're world. Like, so I can't show this. Yeah, exactly. And then, so I'm just like, pull over here. Um, and he pulls over and he's like talking. I'm like, okay, how do I pay? I have cash, card. Like, what do you want? And he was like, I was like, what's easier for you? And he was like, we do card. And I was like, you don't want cash? And he was like, no. I want to do card. And I was like, okay, why did you tell me you can do cash if you want to do a card? <laughs> Anyways, so I do the card and he's yelling at me through the whole process of me doing the card. Like I can't fucking read the tiny little fucking stupid geriatric like, screen. Take out your card. Like literally, literally. And so, you know what I did? I killed him in, with kindness and I tipped him $20 no, at the end bitch, of the ride. No, that's not killing him with kindness. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. When I got out of the car, he like was almost teary-eyed. Like he was like, profusely thanking with me he was like oh my gosh like thank you so much like what the hell like and it was it was the weirdest switch up i've ever seen in my life and i left like on my high horse because i was like bitch yeah like fuck you like <laughs> i win fuck you i let you yell at me for 40 minutes and i gave you money for yeah, it yeah so that was like my evil uber um story and he probably died of a heart attack three days later because i swear to god he was 98 years old like he <laughs> had no business he, he was using his last soul like last moments to yell at you that's what i think like i think he was like going through this thing where he's like i need to experience all emotions again before i die and he just wanted to yell at someone 
And I was just the unlucky. And what's crazy is that <laughs> he would have done this to a girl because a girl was supposed to get in his car. And this is where I was like, oh, he's like in a bad fucking mood because a girl walked up to him and was like, oh, I'm actually going to get in this car. And he like threw his arms up and was like, he kept doing this old man grunt through the whole thing. He was like, oh. <laughs> like the whole time, like it, anytime I would body him, he'd be like, oh. um, and I'm like, okay. Oh my God, I low-key need him. Like, wait, we need to meet no, him. No, he was like, fine. Like he was literally <laughs> fine. Like, I'm like, That's why he said y'all were perfect. Yeah. Also, I'm going to address it right now. Drew is straight, okay? Like, everybody keeps talking about it. Like, Drew is straight. Like, go back on his IG. He's always like, Beyonce is sexy. Lady Gaga is sexy. Lana Del Rey mm -hmm. is sexy. Lord is so cute. Like, I like Drew mm -hmm. goes in. Like, Drew knows an attractive woman when he sees I it. I love a body. Yeah, and he, like, he understands, like, women deserve the right to make art and be sexy at the same time. Yep. Like, he is straight. Like Actually, no. Women should be in the kitchen, but... Uh <laughs> okay yeah but i mean like honestly that adds to the straightness exactly and uh, at most m maybe maybe a little by maybe maybe that's just like in, if you get caught slipping ne so that no one can okay. never ever that okay then never mind. never okay no. never that <laughs> you <laughs> never that never. Says, no uh. it's only punani Oh, whoa. Okay, um, <laughs> so Orion needed a camera from your room, so I was helping her look for a camera in your room. Inya has 25 fucking cameras, and that wasn't even all of them. I counted 25 fucking cameras. You have a problem. You wow, literally okay, have an issue. So women making art and expressing themselves, problem. Yeah, that's a the problem. The thing that's is, is you use maybe two of those cameras. Yeah, I've been collecting them for years. I'm a collecting woman. No, when I'm I saw them, and gathering. when I saw them, me and Orion were like crying, laughing. <laughs> we were like, why does she have this many cameras? This is crazy. Well, to be fair, like I, when I lived at home, hold on, I have to fix this. Uh, when I lived back at home, I used to like, I started collecting cameras. So I've been gifted a lot of those by multiple lovers and people who admire my body. Not me. Yeah, because you don't admire me anymore. You just, yeah. you, it's like the Madonna whore complex. Now Used I'm like a mother to you. I'm and just left behind. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, whatever. Oh, boo, I have a problem. I have a problem. And guess what? After this, I'm going to go buy a t shirt. Yeah. And what are you going to do about yeah. it? Shopping is just like, it gives me, actually, recently, it hasn't been giving me anything. Like, it literally is like so unsatisfying and it's you really know what sad. Would be fun but for that you? happens every year. So I'll be back. I'll be back in springtime and I'll be right back to that shopping addiction. What happened? I was going to say, what would be fun for you since you don't like shopping is saving money. Oh, wow. Oh, it doesn't sound like a rainy enticing. day fund or something. No, I mean, it never rains, rains. in Southern California. Ah. Um, <laughs> oh, while I was looking for cameras, I found your journals and looked through all of them and oh. read everything. What the hell? I read everything. Okay. And did you like what you saw? Yeah. Wow. Should I publish them? No. Oh, okay. Th then it seems like you didn't <gasps> like them. I cannot believe I forgot about this. Me getting food poisoning before my fucking <laughs> flight. Oh, Drew's wow. had a really good health week. Yeah, no, I got food poisoning and then blood. Well, that's fucking... also what happens when you don't leave the fucking house. Bitch. And like you know this what? motherfucker doesn't leave the house for like months at a time, and then when he leaves it, everything goes wrong because you're like stacking up your outside living style karma, and then you have to get it all in one week because the op. universe knows that you're not gonna like come back out after you go back home. Oppenheimer, ooh, the way you never mind, <laughs> um, but. I, you know what I realized? No. Is, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. This is Actually, crazy. Actually, just to say, I don't want to talk. To, um, your touch makes me tingle. <laughs> tingle. Um, your touch appalls me. No, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. What is that from? It's the fucking Tyler the Creator. No, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. Um, me when no one's listening. <laughs> what was I fucking saying? Oh, you know what I think? I got. Food poisoning? Okay, Ow! so... <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Shut the hell up. Let me Ow! talk. Let me talk. Let me talk to you. Okay, wait, do you Let get food poisoning? Because I know it's okay. about to be some nasty shit. So, what I originally thought... $20 bet that he got the food poisoning from exactly where you would think you'd get food poisoning. Okay, it it's a curveball. So, I thought... I went to see... Um, what is that movie? Killer of the Flowers Moons or whatever. Oh, how was um, that? It was pretty good. Okay. Like, really fucking long and, like... 
whatever but it I was i can't stand a long movie objectively a decent they gotta start showing movie. movies in double speed like actually they the need theaters. they need an option there should be a button <laughs> <laughs> or like a everybody in their seats can vote or a separate like, theater for like brain rotted people <laughs> yeah. um because it was three and a half hours okay <laughs> let me okay so before <laughs> before the movie um i, I was like it. saving my stomach all day because i was like oh i'm gonna eat like 18 hot dogs <laughs> like a bag of popcorn a big fucking soda like dude i'm gonna wild the fuck out because movie hot dogs i swear to god the like, food pyramid they put their is whole, a scam because drew's alive amc put their whole shit amc put her whole fucking pussy in those hot dogs i swear to god because like they taste so good well i, I will say they are so yummy i had a few of them and a one few. of them, one of them was like crusty. Like, you know, when you cook a hot dog too long and it's like wrinkly and dry, I ate it anyways. It tastes <laughs> fine, but it just like the texture was nasty boots. And I think it, I thought it was that because I came home and like six hours later, like my stomach was churning, like worst nausea of my life. I won't go into too much detail, but I was shitting and vomiting at the exact same time. Like that level of like. Saying I won't go into too much detail, but I was spraying shit out my butt. You know what? I got lucky though because I bought um, baby wipes before from <laughs> H-Mart. Um, so I didn't have like a bloody butthole. <laughs> a bloody butthole. Um, but <laughs> I. Um, what was the fuck I was saying? <laughs> oh, I like was vomiting all night long, shitting all night long. And my flight was, I had to wake up at 3.50 in the morning. And an hour before I started throwing up, I booked my seat to be a window seat. So the entire flight, I had to tap the person next to me and ask them to get up so I could go shit. And it was crawled over terrible. Them. I thought about it a couple of times, but he smelled bad and he was mean too. Um, <laughs> he was like, you don't belong here. I was like, oh my God, like what the hell? Um, but... You know what I realized where I think I got the food poisoning from? What? Remember after the Berkeley show when I drank sink water and oh. I read a sign that said it's non-potable water, which means it's like not treated water. Yeah. So I was just drinking like untreated water and Drew probably drank a brain eating like amoeba. I, like people might think that this is a character he plays, but I am not kidding. This person, I don't know how, when, when you like had to meet us here, I was like, I don't know if he'll make it. Like, I don't know if he'll make <laughs> and it I beat from y'all. Manhattan to Chinatown and without I beat being you. kidnapped and like sold on Timu like I don't know what's gonna happen <laughs> no, to it we but... got Drew on Timu <laughs> yo they have Drew on Timu yeah. but like I don't understand how this person makes it after the Berkeley show there's water it's a school campus there are water fountains but Drew was in such a panic state to get water he <laughs> ran into the bathroom and drank a bunch of tap water out of the sink and, and then, then he then came I out and he like he was too embarrassed to empty the bottle he filled with tap water into the fountain and get regular water so he just let his stomach sit on unfiltered water and i know you didn't drink any more water for the rest of the I day didn't. i yeah. didn't no i didn't it was really one of the worst decisions i ever made and i still do it i didn't learn my lesson i will drink like if i go to the bathroom at a restaurant like i'll just drink a handful <laughs> like of they give water. you free water like <laughs> they give it to you you, you just have to ask but ask. it's so cold like it hurts <laughs> my teeth <laughs> it's too cold. It hurts my belly. Like it does. I hate and I'm too nervous to ask for no ice because it's like weird. But I think in my head, like the free water they give me is just out of the sink anyways. Like it's all from I the guess, same yeah, sink. Yeah, depending on where you go. Um but yeah, so I think I got my food poisoning from, from the sink. From Berkeley campus. Okay, so Berkeley I still count win your 20, fucking days. I still bitch. win twenty dollars because you got it exactly where you would think you'd get a stomach <laughs> yeah, virus. Yeah, true. So give ca Apple Cash me right now. <sighs> really? Go on, hurry up. You're moving too slow. Should be quicker. I don't so, even know where your phone number just is. Let's make it twenty five. Really? Oh my god, are you actually sending me money right now? Are you sure you want this? Yeah, I mean, like, I would love $20. 20 All right. Sent. I made a bet with it. somebody behind your back the second I met them. Uh, I, I, met, uh, Wait, I made a what? bet about you behind your back. What? <laughs> Wait, who? When we were all shopping, I had said to Max, I was like, I was like, what are the chairs? I was like, I would put $20 down that he's going to go into that store, find something he really likes, look at the price tag and be like... That's just ridiculous. <laughs> and leave. And, not, and, and I did no it three how, times. Yeah, no matter how bad he likes it, he's going to be like, that's, I could find that. 
and then he never looks for it. And I don't need it. I that's one thing about me is yeah, I you are don't good about need that. it. I don't need it. I am in such need for a hit. You know what it is? You get all your dopamine hits from your iPhone. Fourteen hours on my phone a day. <laughs> yeah. Let's see that screen time. I guess it's been probably low because you're here. No, I got a notification last night um, <laughs> that said 10 hours and 41 minutes. And I was like, <laughs> in my head, I was like, damn, I'm like killing it. <laughs> like, I'm... oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yesterday was 10. How the fuck was it 10 hours? I had to have fell in, fallen asleep with that. That's crazy. <laughs> in New York with your parents like going on like tourist attractions walking around and you're still making that one thing about Drew is he's gonna dedicate his time he's gonna get that screen time <laughs> no 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 that cannot be real it says 15 hours and 31 minutes there's no way on one day on you know what's crazy is this is real cause that means you got home from Berkeley and you just like Damn, you tunneled in. I was tapped in. Oh, you spent six hours and 40 minutes on TikTok that Stop day. Stop looking at my shit. Stop looking at my Look shit. Look at the way your legs are twisted up right now, bitch. <laughs> oh, that's good. Wait, I want to see mine. Um. Oh, my God. You're, wow. You actually sent me money. That's funny. Thanks. I was going to um talk about, but we're like, pretty much over with this episode yeah I, you are pretty much over sis wow i was gonna talk <laughs> about this time i'll just look forward to it next week because it's a fucking doozy but um <laughs> my, make sure you guys come back next week <laughs> it'll be a doozy my uh, mom took me and my <laughs> sister for our like kindergarten aged birthday to a george Strait concert and it was awful <laughs> like it was so bad we got like robbed a Love. tornado hit us like <laughs> my mom got pulled over four times on the way home like she lost her phone and we got lost for like eight hours it's hell on earth oh wait go back hold on now you're tripping because what is that oh, oh wow. not much better <laughs> wow. than me nine hours and then the next Monday. day the next day okay oh wow nine hours, nine hours. Day. wow okay but like how about this my average on a week three minutes <laughs> 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 my average is like seven hours six hours yeah why is this one only an hour on october 8th to 15th yeah where were you why didn't you have your phone for five days <laughs> i don't know this actually makes no sense you on google reddit google wait this actually makes no sense what happened to my iphone <laughs> Yeah, I just like sometimes I just happen to real life. <laughs> <laughs> it literally says like two minutes. It literally, a day. Wait, I'm gonna go up. Like, yeah. Literally. Hello. Yeah. It's dude. It's because I was dedicating all my time to hitting my jewel. Yeah, <laughs> like, literally, you were sucking that jewel down. Um, Okay, one last thing before we go. No, this one on. isn't new. Sorry, we had a hater off screen in our live audience saying it's because this is a new iPhone, but this isn't a new iPhone. Mm. This is the iPhone I've had and for over a year. And you bought a new phone and then left for two weeks, and it's just there. It's like the most deranged thing I've ever seen. Okay, well, it's because I have to post on Instagram.com, and I was going to be out of town, and guess what? I don't even post on Instagram.com because I'm so tapped into my real life, and I don't use yep. my phone. Yeah. How about that? She Maybe th I thought about that. Yeah, did y'all think about that? Well, that, that phone is for uh sending nudes to you yeah and you got two iPhones. and we've been together like all the time so i don't have to use it yeah that's true that's true um okay this is the last thing i'll say and then we'll get into media stop deleting your notes bitch oh god that scared the fuck out of me why did that happen <laughs> drew doesn't know how to use his phone for someone who uses it's it as much new as he does iOS. he does not know how no, to use it it's like the he was new trying iOS. to screenplay something <laughs> He's trying to screenplay something and it's like he forgot you have to swipe up on your phone because he literally also the way he holds it makes it crazy. He was literally like this. He was like, how do you do this? Because I'm screenplaying and it's not working. And he's like. Yeah, like that's how I do it. <laughs> so yeah, something's wrong with Drew. Okay, this is the last thing I'll say, but your eye cream is low key just hemorrhoid cream. My eye cream? Mm -hmm. Sis, I don't use eye no, cream. No, no. So and joke's on you. All eye cream is just repackaged hemorrhoid cream. Like the shit you put on your eyes. 
because that's supposed to like do something to your blood vessels and when you put eye cream under it does something to your oh, blood oh it's vessels. to like shrink your blood like the blood flow yeah, to the vessels so you get rid of the bag so it's just hemorrhoid cream. so what's crazy is I have this thing where like God chose me to have like the perfect under eyes and I don't put makeup on there and I don't put cream on there because mm. I just look so gorgeous naturally I love under eye bags I think they're so cute yeah, I wish they're very I had cunty. them I like tried to like not sleep for Every- a long time to get eye bags everybody wants what they don't have I know. but me what with you straight should hair. do is love what you have. Me with straight people. <laughs> no, but you have so that. Bad. Oh, no. It's because you have that and you want the other side yeah, of it. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Um, okay. Media. Why are you sitting like this? This looks like crazy. Oh, look at my Halloween costume for next year. You planning for next year? Oh, wow. Isn't that crazy? That's pretty good. Like me. I mean, it depends it, on like it. if anybody gives a fuck about us next year. But if they do, <laughs> if y'all still give a if fuck, y'all that's going to be good. If y'all still care. Um, okay, I'll just do Drew Sap Corner. These, I'm not going to lie. Oh, my God. That would be so good. We're going to bleep this. <laughs> that would be fucking yeah, lit. That would be good. That would be so fire. It's um my podcast chair. I'm going to be my podcast chair for Halloween next year. Um... <laughs> But okay, these ones are like are so diabolically mid. Like I like don't like them at all. But whatever. I have two. Oh really? Yeah. Tap in. Should I go? No, um, you start it. It's yours. Anxiety is so fucking embarrassing. Like oh no, what if something happens? Like come on, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was no. supposed to like deliver it, like oh no, like but no, you, you I'm did over good. it. You okay, did people, good. I'm over it, people. Um. A haunted house, but it's just filled with guys saying that they swear they can change for you. <laughs> Whoa. Um, <laughs> despite, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Despite the horrors of life, there will always be a phone to look at in bed. <laughs> that one's just raw and real. Yeah, that one's really good. Is there a way to be gay without being a part of the LGBT? <laughs> <laughs> and that's all of them. Like these suck, didn't they? Well, yeah, mine kind of suck. Girl, just shit on him. <laughs> <laughs> if you're mad at him, just shit on him. <laughs> you will have plenty of chances to shit on him. Just do it. And then I don't trust people who stink at the pool or beach. <laughs> <laughs> Stinking at the beach is crazy. Like, how do you stink in a pool of Clorox in a, in a pool of chlorine? Like damn bitch you are really pushing through perseverance honestly so maybe literally, it's something that's good about you early that well media of the week is i'm not giving it to you so suck my fucking oh, balls oh interface occupied by sugars um s c h n e e r e g e n okay me when i'm saying my password <laughs> i don't know how to i don't know how to s- say that word <laughs> let me see may skill Oh, yeah, I guess Maxel. No, 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 though. Maxel? The S word. Oh. oh. I can't say that. Yeah. I don't know how to say Always that. Always calm. Um, and he, this one's embarrassing. I love Destroy Lonely. Like, if looks could kill, I could be the fashion demon walking. I've never heard You've that You've heard life. this song, bro. Oh, okay. It's I, I can't handle that. I'm just opium pilled. Yeah, you're just like you're open. Open or opium. Well, mine is Venus as a boy, but the dream mix, uh, smoking gun, Venus magnolia, shoddy, and shoddy bay. bay coming to a city near you. And I still just been listening to a lot of Hall and Oats. Like mm. it's Coco really Rosie bad. too. I Listen finally this. finished The Sopranos. I finally <gasps> finished what? it. What? I finally finished it. I finished it yesterday. Um, That's crazy. So insane. I'll insert a clip of me, maybe uh, my reaction to it. And if you finished it, you will know. And if you haven't, you still won't know. But you will maybe one day understand. But uh, I, I like literally Did didn't want to finish it. Yeah, I did cry. Mm. I didn't want to finish it because I have become so connected to all those characters. Like I literally love I everybody that. in that so much. And but now I get to start Nurse Jackie. Yes, so I'm really I'm excited watching about that it. With you. Yeah, because I didn't want to start Nurse Jackie because I didn't want to like be watching two shows mm. with like an actress playing two different roles. Cause I didn't want to like I don't fucking know. Be like, oh my God, what the fuck is Carmela doing right now? But very exciting. 
And yeah, I love The Sopranos. <sighs> and I'm really sad it's over, so. Yeah, I watch Killers of the Flower Moon or whatever the fucking title of that movie is called. Like, <laughs> you cool. watch Talk to Her. Yeah. <laughs> Talk <laughs> to the hand. My hand. <laughs> Take my hand. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to Stray, Stray Rats. Rats for letting us use the space. Beautiful, and... beautiful space. Oh my God. Wait, collab coming soon or no? Wait. What yes if? or no? Probably no. What I don't if? know. I don't, know, I don't know if we're like important enough, but we'll see. Alright. Peace and love and unity and respect. Ah!